this video, I'm going to continue working on this assignment, Project 8.1, The Button Maker. I'm going to work on this assembly, the handle subassembly. I'm going to create this assembly and this drawing. I'm going to start out by creating a new assembly. New assembly. I'm going to place a component. I'm going to place the handle insert number three. Set it down and right mouse button OK. I'm going to hover over the part, right mouse button, and ground the part so that it is grounded. I'm going to select some more parts. I'm going to place I'm going to place item number 2 and 4 and 25. Right mouse button okay. I'm going to create a constraint and I'm going to select the bottom the, the bottom of the sleeve, the inside bottom, and I'm going to mate it with the top of the insert. Select Apply. I'm going to select the axis of the sleeve, and the axis of the insert. Hit Apply. I would like to mate the bottom of the set screw to the uh, bottom of the threaded hole, but the bottom of the threaded hole is not flat. So I'm going to create a constraint uh, using an insert constraint, and I'm going to select this radius, and I'm going to select the bottom, the radius at the bottom of the hole, and hit apply. Create another constraint. I'm going to select the top of this handle body and this surface on the insert. Hit apply. Create another constraint. I'm going to select this axis and the axis that's going through the threaded hole on the handle body. Hit apply. I'm going to insert some more parts. I'm going to place part 33, 34, 35 and 36. Right mouse button OK. Create some more constraints. I'm going to select this surface and mate it to this surface. Hit apply. I'm going to align this axis to this axis. Hit apply. I'm going to mate this surface to this surface, apply, and then this axis to this axis, apply. I'm going to mate this surface with this surface, apply. 
and then this axis with that axis apply choose the bottom of the screw head and the top of this washer apply select this axis and the axis of the screw and hit apply I'm going to inspect my work by creating a cross section I'm going to go to plane create a new work plane parallel to a plane through a point uh, go to my Origins folder. And select my YZ plane. I'm zoom in and I'm going to select this point, the center of the recess of the screw. And now I have a work plane that cuts right through there. Cuts right through the center of the screw. I'm going to go to View and select Half Section. You may have to pull this menu down, select Half Section, and then point to the work plane. And inspect your work and verify that the washer is sitting flat on the handle body and all these parts are concentric and correctly located. Select Half Section View again to close your view. Once you're done using your work plane, you can select the work plane and right mouse over it and turn off the visibility. Uh, now I need to put uh, the same parts on the other side of this handle body. To do that, uh, in your browser, select hold down your shift key and select these four parts and then drag them onto your screen go back to assemble constraint point to the bottom of the washer and to the surface hit apply Point to the bottom of this spacer and this surface. Hit apply. Point to this axis and to that axis and apply. Save your part. Call it subassembly handle. Make sure that you, this face is your front view with the threaded holes towards the front. Select the context menu. Select set current view as front and now you notice that this is your front view. Save your file. Create a new drawing. Select your base view. Set the scale to 1 to 1 and turn on hidden line. Place your side view and an ISO view. 
Select OK. Reposition your ISO view. Select the ISO view. Turn on Shaded. Select Section View, select this view, hover over this line here until you get the, see the green dot. Don't select the green dot, but just move straight up. You notice you'll get a, a very faint dotted line. Select About here. Draw a line down, straight down to About here. You'll want to have the line line up with the center of that screw. You notice that as you move it around, you'll see a very faint line. And there it is lined up with the center of the screw, a very faint dotted line. Select there. Go straight down through the center of the screw. Position slightly to the right, right mouse button. Continue. Place your section view about here. Go to annotate. Place your parts list. Select this view. Select OK. Place your parts list about right there. I'm going to move this a little bit closer together, make the column a little bit more narrow. Do the same here, make this column more narrow. This one too. I'm going to widen the description column. If I hover over the, the parts list, I'll see this X across, across, and then you could move it line it up so that it's right in the corner. And if this line, if this does not line up, you could move this line over so that this line is continuous here. Kind of like that. I'm going to select Balloon. Right mouse button, Continue. I'm going to try to select the insert, and it wants to grab the sleeve. I'm going to have to position my cursor down here to grab it. Right mouse button, Continue. I want to move this arrow up here. Hit Escape. Select the line, the leader line, and the green dot at the end of the arrow. I want to select this set screw. Right mouse button, continue. I'm going to hit Escape, select the line, and then I'm going to grab the arrow and move it up. Select Balloon again.
hit escape, select the leader line, and hover over the arrow until you get a, an X, and that'll let you move the line. I'm going to um, specify that there's two of these, each of these items. There's a different way of doing it. You can select the text tool and uh, place it text. Uh, type in uh, 2x, 2 capital X. Select OK. I hit Escape. And then you could uh, reposition this such that it's right about there. Uh, the problem with that is is that um, if you move this view, the 2x does not move with it. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to create a leader text. I'm going to point to the same part. I come up and place it here. Right mouse button, continue. And then type in 2x. OK, uh, hit Escape, and then select the text, and right mouse button, and say Delete Leader. And I could still move this text, position it about right there. Uh, but the benefit of doing it this way, uh, hiding the leader, is that when you move your view, the, the text goes with it. So I'll do the same here. Select Leader Text. Right Mouse Button Continue. Escape, right mouse button, delete leader, delete leader, delete leader. Go to Eye Properties, go to Summary, and change the title, all caps, to Subassembly Handle. Change this to your name. Go to Project. Make sure the revision says A. Save your drawing. Call it subassembly handle. Go to File, Export to PDF. Save the PDF file in your Documents folder and submit your PDF drawing to Project Lead the Way to complete your assignment.